Hey everybody, welcome back to more 13 Sentinels. Huh? We'll be continuing Yuki's story, or I guess finishing it up or something? We're gonna try and do that. Finally have unlocked it. And then Natsuna's afterward. Aiba, where could she have gone? Forget her. I need to find Nachan. I should check with Sekigahara if there's been any progress. Oh yeah, so the last thing we did with you... Uh, was... Oh yeah, Erika Iba's true identity turned out to be an android that carried the consciousness of the criminal uh, Juro Izumi. Which at the time we're like, oh man, that dude's fucked up. Eh. But might not be fucked up given the information we have now. I don't know, this shit's just crazy. Yeah, all I know is we gotta... We gotta use the box in the old skill building. Get some stuff done. Hmm, how do we go in there? Do I just check the box? So the box was actually in the stuff not she must have been so it wasn't just me. Old school building? Yes, okay. She's just squeaking, don't worry about it. Are you in here? Where is he? He said he was gonna be hiding around here. Maybe he's still looking for her. Or maybe he got caught. <sighs> we are here. Hello. Sekigahara, what happened? The nanomachine separation inside the brain is progressing. What does that mean? He is in the same condition as Ryoko Shinonori. DD-426. <sighs> um, hey. I still have my memory. I just ran out of my pills. No. Oh. Don't mind me. You were searching for Natsuno Minami. We've determined her location. She's in Sector 3. What? Mayora? It is only speculation. But there is a high probability that she is there. Okay, great! Let's go get her! Oh, wait. Sekigahara. Go without me. I just needed to tell you. Besides, the black suits are only after me now. It'd be bad if they think you're my accomplice. Better to avoid being seen together at all. Uh, you know, I was thinking about how the story's coming together a little bit, or at least chunks of it, where you're kind of getting a better timeline of events. Because we had the recent episode where Shinonome, like, takes down Natsuno, take, take, takes BJ back here, which explains why you know, Natsuno's trapped there and missing for a while but then BJ's like, you know fucking, you, you, you'll figure out all the secrets and stuff like, you know, what's going on with, with Mr. Ida which then loops back to this story when she uses this thing to see like, her future self and she becomes cracked out and has like 80 pills and stuff my brain was piecing everything together as we go here because you know that's what happens when there's like 18 different storylines going at once and i was like that's real neat come over here what is it what is this thing take it with you i don't know how to use it you'll need it to save minami <sighs> I need to ask you a favor in return. 
Miura is carrying a message for me. If I were to ever lose my memory, I need you to show me that message. <laughs> God. And then that loops back to the other thing of, uh, later he's gonna be all, like, fucked up. No memory. And then he's gonna, she's gonna be like, hey, go over there. Look at this cool video. Will you be okay by yourself? Myself is just about all I can handle. I'm sure Shinonome's medicine is in the nurse's office. Miura seems to be in a hurry. Please, go with him. Oh, wow. So, where is Nachon? Southeast, 3.2 kilometers. There is an unusual concentration of androids. Great. More of those creepy ass robots. They must have found something. Something? You mean Nachon? This unit possesses no attack capabilities. It is up to you. I know. I won't fail. Can I, like, grab onto you and then we can just, like, float? I'm Guess ready. not. Lead the way. You're back. I'd be shitting my fucking pants. <laughs> like, God, no. take even one step outside they'll attack ever since i got here they just keep on coming i ate my last can of food yesterday and now the soda i was taking sips from is empty too oh what should i do am i going to die here without anyone knowing Yes, I love shooting. Even like Ohio. Time and space to do it. Oh, Yuki Chan. The Chain Bowler's magnetic shield is still active. BJ. This is why the androids could not approach. You came back for me. Yeah. Of course. Smell talk must come later. There are four androids approaching. Let's go. No matter what comes our way, I will protect you with everything I have. <laughs> and we're done. We have now cleared Yuki Takamiya's story. Which means we can now conclude Natsuno's story. Cool. This should be a good spot, right? The river's nice and wide. Plus, no one else is around. It shouldn't be a problem if the sentinel pops up here. Are you going to summon it right now? Perhaps we should wait until nightfall. Well, we're going to send it right back, aren't we? If it's only for a second, then we should be fine. 
I want to change the registered pilot of Sentinel number 17. To you, Natsuno. Wait, right here? Why? I was previously using Miura's ID. However, the ownership of the ID returned to him. It's because I operated Sentinel number 19. I can no longer pilot a Sentinel. In order to shift to the Sentinel, it must receive a new pilot. But this change comes with a price. It will reset the Sentinel's stored memory. Wait, that's not good. Then, what do we do? We'll transfer all data logs to me. If it's done at the same time we change the registered pilot, I should be able to secure the log data. Good thinking, BJ. Not to know. From now on, Sentinel number 17 will be... Right, right, no problem. I'll be the one who pilots the robot. And I'll fight together with my pal, BJ. As long as Nachan isn't in any danger. Sentinel number 17 will protect Natsuno. If anything, I should be the one fighting. There is another Sentinel for you. What did you say? You must work together. And survive. You know it. Both processes must be performed concurrently. Natsuno, it's time to activate. Okay. Worked, BJ? BJ? You okay, buddy? Say something. He's no longer with us. What? BJ was the only one who could retrieve the log data. But the storage capacity on a scout unit like that is limited. He couldn't store both the log data and his own AI data. So, in order to make room for the logs, he... deleted himself. No. No, you're wrong! He's just fooling around! Come on! Wake up, BJ! BJ! Yeah, I've noticed a lot of these are pretty short and to the point, but that does it for her. But it's just cool. Now she can press her cheek and then get a giant robot. So that on its own is really cool. Alright. Who's next on my list here? Have I done everyone's prologue? I'm pretty sure I've done everybody but you, so I'll, I'll hit you up now. I like the way that shakes the big ass 3D looking like lantern. I think that's what those are supposed to be. Might be a Japanese pinata. <laughs> Another one. They've already got like four at the intersection. How many phone booths do they really need? Looks so weird. 
Some people just have fun time traveling. Oh, I think I've seen signs like that before. They're just like in those retro videos I've seen under the Showa era tag. This is kind of surreal. Even the stoplights here are huge. Stop wandering off on your own, Kisaragi. Wait, okay, for real though. They seriously haven't invented smartphones yet? <laughs> this is so crazy! How do they even talk to each other? I don't want to be alive. Whoa. Oh my god. We really are in the 80s. <laughs> I can't believe that hair. What? <laughs> Sorry, I just can't stop laughing. What even is that? A pompadour? The show air is so weird. And what the hell are you laughing at? Huh? Your hair, duh. I just said. You trying to start shit? <laughs> what even is that? That really is fucked up. She's so toxic. Please excuse us. I'm afraid she's a little... Dumb. Well, she has difficulty with social interaction. Hey, don't make me sound like some kind of weirdo. Please, carry on. I'll give her a talking to once we're home. <sighs> Goddamn freaks. Well, there goes my day. <laughs> Stop causing problems. <laughs> she fucking ruined his day. You realize we're only here with the help of this era's facilitators. If we're to be accepted here, we must respect the place. We're essentially foreign refugees. Don't forget that. So, about those facilitators. You mean Shikishima? The military corporation? All they care about is getting their hands on future technology. You sure we're not being used? That is not your concern. Sakura High. I trust you know where to find it. It's the same school. I expect you'll adjust quickly. That is not my school. Everyone from that class is old enough to be my mom. Don't act like it's the same. We left mine back in 2025. Take me back to my own time. I thought I explained this already. The world was destroyed. Okay, fine. Let's say that's true. I've still got to go help my mom and dad. They won't be there. It's already too late. I doubt you'd get the clearance to time jump anyway. That another one of their orders? I didn't want to get dragged into this. Am I supposed to just take it? Whatever you say? Precisely. You should count yourself lucky to have escaped with us. Kisaragi-kun, I understand your situation, but I need you to cooperate. I never saw it myself. The world was destroyed, apparently. What do I even say to that? Yeah, cool. Got it. It was pretty cool. Still, even if I begged to go check it out, something tells me they aren't going to let me. You probably die. Leverage over them. I gotta make them an offer they can't refuse. I'm guessing we can leave, or is, or do they expect me to like think all of my thoughts? Probably. Okay, sir, I understand your. I remember seeing that company in the news back in 2025. They make everything from fridges to missiles. They've got tons of factories across the world. So in 2025, I would have turned 16 next month. But now, I'm way back in 1985. So like, how old am I technically? 15. Like your age doesn't really change. Just because you moved around, it's like your body's still moving. 
uh, don't worry about it. Sounds like KZ, but what about this? This variable that would make that different. To you, I say, fuck you. You don't have a time machine. I do. Until further notice, here are your orders. Not talking about it. Do not act on your own. Remain in cons... And for now, simply attend school as usual. Am I clear? Chan, did you check out all those books? What are they? Hey, do you mind if I take a look? They're not that interesting. I just want to peek. Let's see. Business quarterly? Corporate guides. Economic reports. This is impressive, Usami-chan. Are you studying for a career in business? Uh, not really. I was... Kinda looking for some leverage. You know, dirt on some big shady corporation. So then I could, like, control them a little. Huh? Usami-chan, that's a little... weirder than I was expecting. I could do this in a snap if I had internet here. Manually searching through books? So inconvenient. Internet? Uh, oh, uh, like, you know, net profits, big business talk, <laughs> or something. Check her out. How does one person sleep that much? I'm leaving. You can't stop me. All right, you stop me. Hey. I've been meaning to tell you. I found a cafe with some amazing looking cakes. Shall we go there after school? Sounds good. Those crepes from yesterday are going to be hard to beat, though. Back home, they went a little too crazy with the toppings. Sometimes simple is best. Hmm, good point. Crepes would be nice, too. Mmm. Do you think we could get both? Uh, I guess I could think. I the whole library for reference materials. Wasn't hard to find things on Shikishima, but it's just like stock market stuff. I should have known. Nothing I could use as leverage. Hmm. So in 2025, I would have turned 60, but now I'm way back in so like so everything back here, yeah, right? I gotta get. Hey, Miwako. I know this is random, but there's this company called Shikishima Industries. You know anything about them? Shikishima. They're the ones who make ships and things, right? Hmm. I have this old friend. His father works for them, I think. Seriously? Miwako, can you do me a favor? I want you to introduce me. Sure. Yes. Those big megacorps always have shady stuff hiding in their HQ. One step closer to getting the dirt. You know, I'm looking forward to the part where her plot reveals something actually interesting, but we'll, we'll get there. You said your friend goes to the school, right? They're still not here. Did you get the meeting time wrong? No. Did they just ditch? Oh, don't worry. He's not the type to break promises. <laughs> Ask and I shall receive. Hold on. What's he doing here? Uh, this is my old friend, Nenji Ogata. You're kidding. So, uh, where's she at? You said some girl was looking to ask me out? What? Well, um, that would be her. usami 
Huh? You're the chick who shat on my hair. <laughs> you're a dog face, aren't you? <laughs> the heck is that supposed to mean? I take it you're not calling me a cute puppy. I mean, you kind of have it coming. Okay, hold on. What did you say to this guy? Just that a girl I knew wanted to tell him something. And he thought that was a confession? How dumb is he? I'm standing right here. Why'd it have to be you? The feeling's mutual, man. Please, can't we all calm down? There you are. I've been looking all over for you. What? Was... Huh? What? What? I could have sworn I just saw them. Usami-chan. Usami-chan. Uh. Oh, good. You weren't waking up. I thought you might have died. What just happened? I don't know. There was some kind of flash, and then we were here. Damn it. Still alive over there, Captain Pompadour? My name is Nenji Ogata. Get it straight, dogface. Oh, excuse me, Captain Pompadour. I'm Tomi Kisaragi. Don't give me any stupid nicknames. All right, smartass. Please, we can't be fighting right now. Frankly, I'm on his side. She's been incredibly rude the entire run. She opened, making fun of his hair like that. Inex fucking excusable. I haven't heard an apology. You know why? In real life, she's a bitch. <laughs> Leave her here. What happened to all these buildings? It's like... We were attacked. something i know the city got leveled you saw that flash right must have been a nuke uh, a nuclear bomb you realize we were at school just now isn't this downtown way well, yeah, i figure it the blast must have knocked us all the way over here. <laughs> okay never mind you're just a moron hey you're like a big greasy roach i bet you could survive a nuke no problem <sighs> You got a better idea? What the hell else could have happened? Oh, if we're here, then... No way. The world got destroyed according to... If it's nuclear war, then that means... There's radiation everywhere! We're going to die! We have to run, or get cover, or... Deep breaths, Miwiko. I'll try. This is... Keakicho. Huh? Oh, you're right. Look at that sign. It must be near the shopping district. The hell? You know how far that is from school? Look, I don't know what the hell happened. But nobody else is here. You think they all evacuated? Well, then where... Where's everyone else? Miwako. Dad!
This isn't the city you two know. It's hard to tell with everything messed up like this, but... I think we're in the year 2025. 2025? Are you crazy? This is my home. Well, was my home, I guess. In case I didn't mention, I came from the future. Ah, that was a good way to start that one.